Welcome to the channel everyone, and today we'll be analyzing the original and incredible bar routine of 2008 Olympic champion Hikijin. Wow, I think the finals on the bars at the 2008 Olympic Games in China is among the most impressive and high quality finals in all women's gymnastics history. Kashin from China won gold and that's saying a lot based on the quality of all the finalists. She's only 4 foot 10 inches tall and looks very young but keeps great form while doing skills and combinations that were ahead of their time. There was actually a bit of controversy about her being old enough to take part in the Olympic Games but ultimately she participated in the 2008 Games. In the 2012 Olympics she took silver behind Mustafina from Russia. They both did great sets and Mustafina stuck her dismount and she was cleaner but to me it really was a coin toss and either one could have won. Let me know what you think in the comments. Let's get started and take a look at her first few skills in real time. She does a kip, hop chains to handstand, to a full pirouette to L grip or a full Higgins turn, straight into a very high Jaeger with a half turn and immediately into another straddle Jaeger. Kip cast handstand, Higgins roll and then she hop pirouettes immediately into a half Higgins roll to an immediate layout Jaeger recatch. Beautifully done. Let's take a closer look. Her kip change mount is the same as 2023 world champion Chi Oan. She creates a moment of weightlessness to change her hands in reverse grip. Nice straight handstand. Notice her head is neutral, not looking down. On this full Higgins to L grip, the post on the arm looks slightly off axis, but this is intentional to get back to the squared off L grip handstand after the full turn. In this side by side, we see Nasty Lukin does not post on that arm as off axis because her hands don't reach across the bar as much. Look how closer her hands are together. Kajin looks up at her toes where Nastia looks at the bar. Looking at your toes in an L grip position helps your hands grip the bar better. Nastia is so flexible in her wrist that she is comfortable to look at the bar. When we compare Kajin to the 2023 World champion Da Juan, they are similarly off axis on their post arm and they end in the L grip handstand with hands similarly apart. Again, Ji looks at the bar where Kejin looks at her feet. Immediately out of her full Higgins, Kejin does a very high straddled Jaeger. Clean turnover at a release point. Good height and very fast rotation. You can see one hand reaches down lower as she starts to initiate her twist out of her Jaeger. She just falls out of the sky as she catches it horizontal and full arm's length to give power to her swing for her immediate Jaeger front flip recatch. Great precision on her catch here. Her grip is mixed during her Jaeger. Let's watch from a different angle. I've seen her do this many times in many routines and it's really surprising to me how consistent she is with her precision in this release move sequence. Great stuff. Now she does a kip cast to handstand, really a tight body in all her handstands, then a giant swing into a half Higgins. She turns very late into her Higgins, but you can see she's already leaning over to prep her Higgins turn. Now her Higgins is just a small pivot into an L grip handstand. Now into her L grip giant, and she hops both hands out of her L grip giant into a half pirouette handstand and straight into a half Higgins turn right back to an L grip handstand. This all happens very fast. Not long after this performance, she would start incorporating the hop full Higgins instead of her half pirouette half Higgins. Watch how fast she completes this Higgins turn right into an L grip handstand. Really impressive to me. Back to her routine. Straight out of her Higgins roll, she swings into a beautifully executed layout Jaeger or front flip catch. Perfect form on the release and tight form throughout the layout flip. Her leg are glued together on the catch. Nice work. Kip to handstand with beautiful body position and now she moves into her Dukachev or reverse hect. Good and a common release position. Good height, nice flexibility and strong reach back to the bar to continue her counter rotation. She catches horizontally with her legs continuing down as she goes straight into her pack salto or layout backflip between the bars down to the low bar. This early kick arch helps her to stall out the rotation of the layout backflip, helping her to catch the low bar close to the handstand position. Ideally, she'd like to be closer to a handstand here, and she's a little more over the bar than she probably planned, but still, this position gives her enough swing and support to move into her glide kip smoothly. Kip cast handstand pirouette into a very vertical handstand, now to a straddle soul circle, throwing the bar behind her to catch the high bar. She has good flexibility here, but because she does not counter rotate very much, she has very little swing into her kip, as you can see. She's almost at a hang at this point. She aggressively works the kip and casts into a handstand with no form break. Again, a very vertical handstand. Now she does a free hip. She was off on this free hip a little bit because she had to bend her arms here. That's not normal for her as she normally keeps her arms straight on the skill. Now into her blind change to a very vertical handstand. 
and now into her one and a half pirouettes, which she initiates very early, just like she does with her Higgins turns. She finishes easily within five degrees of vertical and straight into a clean and controlled half and half out dismount. In hindsight, I kind of wish she would turn and nod to the judge right here and try to hide that step she took. But still, it's a beautiful routine with great execution, unique release sequences, form, and energetic dynamic. I hope you enjoyed this analysis of Olympic champion He Kajing and found some value in it. Please like and subscribe as it helps me grow my channel and I always look forward to hearing what you have to say in the comments. All my best and see you next time. Until then, rock on.